Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking out one of my favorite Russian tank destroyers. This is the ZIS-30. And the reason it's my favorite is because it is just quintessentially Russian. They're just, they're not fucking around with this thing. They took a tractor, they put a giant ZIS-2 cannon, 57mm super long barrel on top of it, and then threw some guys on top. No armor, high speed, crazy good penetration, 145 millimeters at 10 meters, with 27.72 grams of TNT equivalent explosive mass. At a bow rating of 2.3, we're going to be able to wreck house with this thing. And another reason why this is quintessentially Russian is if we look at the x-ray, <coughs> They just packed a shit ton of people in here and then put ammo in the worst possible spot like they always do. We only get 20 rounds. But the way that they're configured, whoever designed this made sure that this would be a one-shot machine. Any position we get hit from, we're basically either getting ammo racked or our entire crew is going to die in one shot. If you look at it from the front, this dude's leg and arm is literally hanging out for no particular reason. This dude's ass is hanging out for no reason. The armor isn't enough to do anything except set off high explosive pillar shells. So we're going to get out there. We're only using the Zist 30 today. Battle rating 2.3. We're going to try to use our mobility and surprise <laughs> to overcome just it's just i'm just excited it's gonna be a fun one that's a pretty good map for it let's uh let's push between alpha bravo hold the high ground and see if we can catch a couple of slow moving fellows uh pushing into to alpha it's alpha right yeah Get on the road here. The turning ability on the ZIS-30 is very, very good. Thing turns on a dime. Allows you to get on target very quickly. You need the upgraded suspension, that's for darn sure. Otherwise, once you pull into your position and you hit the brakes, you just wobble back and forth for a second. So I think what we'll do here is let's pull up to that hillside right there, that hilltop, and then we'll orient this direction. Usually you can find some, uh, some slower folks pushing in, especially because we have the Americans, the Brits. Oh, M22. Yeah, uh, it's the only thing that's going to... Oh, oh, M2A4. Jesus. Slow reload might get us killed here. Let's get behind cover now. Come on. Okay. So yeah, uh, I was hoping to get a little bit further up. I, I forgot how low tier we are here. M2A4 is dead. Uh, that was the fellow that pushed into Alpha proper. The guy behind the rock is still alive though. Not quite sure where he, there he is. <laughs> really solved that problem for us, didn't he? One of the issues is that the machine gun's pretty difficult to use. Because it's mounted on the chassis, you don't have a lot of slew with it left and right. Since these guys are so fast, we're gonna preset our cannon to the left there. That's exactly why. Gonna back up, our reload's too slow. All right. 
M8. That's a quick boy. Get set ready for this guy. He should be peeking this corner. If he's smart, he's going to wait for the cap before he starts moving up. We have no one on our right. No friendlies, rather. So in the meantime, let's get a measurement here. Even though we have a really high muzzle velocity, just in case. 250, so it's basically point and shoot to adventure. This is dangerous to us. Yeah, you could see there we, we really rocked back and forth for a moment. That M8's gonna wanna peek on us here. We're gonna back up. Take our time. The scary part is <clears throat> if he has an HE shell, he'll be able to affect us. Okay, good, good, good. He's busy, he's busy. Let's see if we can sneak it. Oh, beautiful. Okay, we got his radiator. Completely useless shot. So both him and the M8 are up here. Let's not overexpose ourselves. You see how we, we rock back and forth a little bit? And that's with the upgraded suspension, too. Uh, this is assuming the M8 didn't push forward. If he did, that's no bueno for us. I'm assuming that M, was that an M13 or an M16, the NIR? He, uh, he's probably repairing. Oh, right in the fucking pole. 13 rounds left. We'll go ahead and call that out for the boys. We got a Panzer II Charlie Charlie variant on our side here. He's got a uh, semi-auto. Ironically, we don't want to fight the anti-air. We can help it. Bad shot, but we're gonna take it anyway. We didn't have time to get on target. Okay, now that we have friends playing the center here, we need to be a little bit more cognizant of our right. And if we can get a position here, we might be able to sneak sneak around or two. Yep, there's one right there. Gotta be careful though, because our barrel is just so long. We're gonna wait for him to fire. Oh, there's two. Glad I waited. He's got a fast reload. But the Swedes are not, we're not fighting the Swedes, are we? No, okay. M13 died, good. We gotta pull out, risk it a little bit for the biscuit. There we go. Lovely, lovely. I, I thought there were two right here. I really thought there was. Alpha's the only thing they've got, and I'm pretty sure it's open. Yeah, we're capping. Beautiful. So our main goal now is to isolate Alpha and prevent them from reinforcing it. Uh, but we need to be careful because the ZIS-30 is super vulnerable to aircraft. And right now, they are going to be very upset. And this guy's probably coming in for us, to be honest. The hell is he shooting at? The boy off our left is getting shots off, so. Yeah, we've got contact at 12 o'clock, okay. Okay, our play here. Uh, we're gonna We're gonna get a little bit aggressive here. Maybe not smart, but we're gonna go ahead and take some more real estate here. And it looks like we might be one of the more forward elements on this side of the battleground, but we can hopefully have this pay off for us. I'd really like to get into that rock to those rocks, rather, where this guy is. 
We're going to try to surprise him by closing distance, which is not something I would normally want to do in this. Uh, he might have been killed. I'm not seeing any smoke. Oh, yep, okay, he was. He is down. We're going to use our momentum to get over this rock. Good, 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 good. Okay, new position. We need to be very careful because we can get pushed on that side easily. So they have it. They have an option to get out of spawn here, which is nice. We don't want to get too close. And our boys look like they have that under control. So we're actually going to defend Bravo now. Still have 11 rounds. Uh, I want to be really careful though because there are a lot of good spots over here to just kind of hang out. And if you're not expecting it, someone can very easily do that. M2A4, that is a good tank, man. This BR, it's fast too. That was that was the one we saw mob into Alpha. We couldn't even get on target fast enough because that dude was just cruising. Okay, we are now the forwardmost element. Our other guys got killed. So we need to be watching all directions. And we killed that M2A4. So they they are gonna know where we are. We're gonna we're not gonna engage that. We've only got ten rounds. We've gone through half of our ammo. Fucking outstanding round, this 30 man. Perfect. This is exactly what I wanted to, to show the capabilities of. Uh, I think we need to turn around and actually orient to protect Alpha. But I'm concerned that if I do that, someone's gonna mob into Bravo and then have the high ground on us. Or our boys should really have the left. Yeah, okay, it sounds like there's one right here. Yeah, he's marked now. Just north of us. There he is. Is that a guy? No, that's not him. Alright, we're gonna get hyper aggressive here. We're gonna hold both spots, which is suicidal, but dope, so we're going to do it. Right out in the open. With our back up against the wall, we're going to be very, very visible. So they, they made a push for Charlie and not as much Alpha Bravo anymore. They looks like they kind of gave up on this side, at least for now. Thank goodness. I hear one. Oh, that might have been my own. Yeah, that was us. We're good, we're good. Okay, I see one. We want him to move into our line of sight, ideally. Any movement he's gonna be able to see. I, I got his shit right there. Go ahead and mark him. Got one right here. Good, just wanna make sure we kill his gunner. You stay in the same spot? Buddy, why? Neutral steering for the win, dude. Okay, here he comes. Z 
minus 30, baby. What are we at right now? Six kills? Goodness gracious, boys. Oh, potential. Might be about time for us to relocate here. Enemy aircraft, I don't want to move. We'll draw attention to ourselves. Yeah, this is just a complete sweep. We're going to go ahead and push off to the east, actually. Because our boys got that on lockdown. Nice. Fourth place on that, too. So that is just a freaking perfect example of all of the good things the Zest 30 brings to the fight. Hell of a cannon, crazy good muzzle velocity, great penetration with explosive filler. So even if you have a bad shot, it could still do something to whoever you're hitting. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and follow us on Mixer. Need help over here, bro. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> oh my god! Yo boys, I'm leading another dude, come on. <laughs> I'm another dude. It's where we have our live streaming content. And you can interact with us live, which is actually pretty fun. But thanks again for spending your day with us, and we'll see you next time.